Tonight on the CW News at 10, an officer involved shooting in the Central Valley. What we've learned so far. I'm Christine for in Washington, where some say the similarities are uncanny between the America First policies of former President Trump and those today that we see with President Biden. And a historic global outage for Facebook and three of its largest platforms on the heels of a whistleblower claiming the company put profits over public good. The CW News at 10 starts right now. Live from the News 3 studios in Las Vegas, this is the CW News at 10 with Marie Mortera. A Monday night in a Central Valley neighborhood ends with gunshots, police pulling the trigger, and tonight we are waiting to hear more. It is the big story here at 10. And in this video, a large police presence on hand there on the streets. At this point, we don't have a lot of details as to what led up to the shooting, but we are told that you will want to avoid this area. Officers have Penwood and Arville completely blocked off as they investigate. We are awaiting a press conference from police, and we will bring that to you as soon as we get it, either here on air or on News3LV.com. Tonight, Centennial High School mourns the loss of a 16-year-old student killed in a crash. Late last month, police say Liam Gologly was helping to raise money for the school's ROTC program when he crossed the intersection at Tropical and Centennial as the Do Not Walk sign was flashing. A student who sang at tonight's memorial on the football field had this to say. I hope that.